Towards the end of 2022, the nurses at Limbe Health Center in Blantyre, Malawi, started noticing something strange going on with all their patients inside the hospital. They could not explain this strange event until 8th of January when they made a shocking discovery that was almost unbelievable. But before we go right into the story, kindly like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss any of our uploads whenever we share new stories. Now that you've done that, let's go right into the story. Around March 2022, Malawi, an East African country, was hit by a deadly wave of cholera. The outbreak was so deadly that the country recorded 21,024 infections between 2022 and 2023. 704 citizens have lost their lives to this disease while hundreds of others are being treated at different hospitals across the country. Limbe Health Center, just like many other hospitals in Malawi, had admitted hundreds of these cholera patients, many of whose conditions were fast deteriorating. The doctors and nurses at the hospital were working almost several hours just to make sure these patients were restored to health. Around September 2022, one of the nurses at this Limbe Health Center had just finished attending to one of the cholera patients when she moved to another section of the hospital to attend to other patients. Several minutes later, this nurse went back to check up on the cholera patient she had attended to earlier. But when she got there, she saw that the drip she had tightly fixed for this patient before she left had been disconnected. She was confused for a second because she knew she had properly fixed the drip before leaving. She immediately refixed the drip and went away. Weeks later, almost all the nurses at the hospital started complaining of the same problem. Whenever they check up on their patients, they noticed the drip they had fixed before leaving the patient had been disconnected before they came back and they could not explain how that was happening. This problem persisted for a very long time at the hospital, and nobody could give a clear explanation to how these drips were getting disconnected. On the 8th of January, 2023, one of the nurses at the hospital went to check up on her patient. When she opened the door to the ward where the patient was lying on her bed, she saw a strange man bending close to this patient. This strange man did not look like one of the health workers in the hospital, and this nurse knew very well that it was not the visiting hours for family members. She immediately called out to the man who was obviously not aware that the nurse was standing right there in the room with him. The man started when he heard the voice of the nurse, and for a second they were looking at each other in silence. The nurse asked the man what he was doing inside the ward, and as she was waiting to get a response from this man, who was still standing there looking startled, the man ran towards her, pushed her out of the way and made for the door. The nurse immediately ran after this man, yelling, and the screaming from this nurse attracted many people from the hospital who chased down this strange man. After this man was caught, he confessed that he was the one behind the whole mystery in the hospital. He was the one coming into the hospital to disconnect the drips after the nurse had fixed them and left the patient. Sadly, it turned out that this strange man was a coffin seller whose shop was very close to the hospital. Shortly before he started going into the hospital to disconnect the patient's drips, he experienced low sales in his business and at some point he decided that going into the hospital to sabotage the treatment of the patients would cause them to die and by implication drive up his coffin sales to their families. This strange man, whose name was not given at the time of compiling the story, had been handed over to the Malawian police and he is helping with investigation. That brings us to the end of this very, very short story. I am sure you've liked this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notification. Now that I know you have done that, I hope to see you here in our next story.